Hello, welcome. In this video, we're going to see how many objects you can name in my flat. Some of the things are going to be easy, but others are going to be more challenging. I'm going to give you a few seconds to name the objects before revealing the answers. So let's begin. What do we have down here? We have a doormat. Okay, and what do we have here? This thing that you ring, it is a doorbell. Okay, and here we have where we walk through, in the front of the house, the front door. Okay, so next we have this place where we keep all of our shoes. Okay, what is that called? A shoe rack. And here we have, what's this supposed to be? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We have the front door again. <laughs> okay, now here we have somewhere where we keep all of our coats. We hang our coats on here. This is a coat stand. Moving on. Ah, we have here, we have to put these on our feet in the apartment. They are slippers. And this one here is the vacuum cleaner, or in British English, Hoover. Okay, and this one, we use this for cleaning the floor with water. It is a mop. Okay, follow me into the kitchen. First of all, where you boil your water for making your cup of tea, it is a kettle. And this one we use for mopping up or cleaning our hands. It's called kitchen roll. And this one here we use for opening our bottles of wine. This bit. It's a corkscrew. And next we have something very easy for you guys. We drink water out of it. It's called a glass. For chopping, we use scissors, fantastic. This one here, we drink our coffee out of it. So it's a coffee cup, or you could say espresso cup, because it's quite small. Okay, moving on to the cutlery. We have this very small, we use for making tea. It's a teaspoon. The larger spoon, we might just usually call this a spoon, but you can also call it a tablespoon, the spoon that you use on the table. And this one is a knife. A fork. Okay, and this one, voila. This is a plate. And FYI, this one, which is a bit, has a bit more depth, is a, a depth is a bowl. Here we have a mug and this one we use for cleaning our dishes is washing up liquid. Washing up liquid. We also use this for washing our dishes. This one is a bit old. It's a, a sponge. And where we wash our dishes. Okay, first of all, where the water comes out of. That is a, a tap. And the water goes into, you can come. Have a look into it. Here where the water goes into and where we do our washing up is the sink. Okay, now we're going to look at these different things we use for cooking. So we've got this one. This one we call a pot. Okay, you can boil your water in this pot. Uh, this one here, we call it. A pan, okay, a pan. This one we use for draining the water. So if you're making pasta, you might drain the water afterwards and we call it, it's quite a difficult one, a colander. And where we're doing our cooking, we do our cooking on this thing where we can make it hot and it's called a stove, a stove. Or we can do our cooking down here. Uh, do our baking, bake your cake, for example, in the, in the oven. Uh, here we have some more kitchen utensils. 
This one you might use if you're making pancakes. It's called a spatula, spatula. This one you might use for soup or making broth. It is a ladle. And we have this one here Oi. for chopping bread or vegetables. It's a chopping board, chopping board. Fantastic. And up here we have something in our kitchen uh, where we can remember all of the things we have to do in our busy lives. And that is called a, a calendar. Okay, so we have some more things in the kitchen. We have this one so we don't burn our hands in the oven. It's called a oven glove. This one here, it opens like on a hinge. We usually call that a cupboard. A cupboard so this is a kitchen cupboard actually we've got our bins in there this here is very useful it uh, saves us a lot of time we don't like doing the washing up always this is where we wash our dishes it's called a dishwasher here we have something that we can use to dry the dishes very useful as well it's called a tea towel don't know what it's got to do with tea, but it's called a tea towel. Under the tea towel, we have all of these boxes that we use for keeping food, and they are called, get it out, Tupperware. <laughs> Tupperware. Here, now on the bottom we have I mean, where we keep our food, it's not too cold. Oopsie daisy. Put that back. That is called the fridge. The fridge. And the one up top is even colder. This is where you freeze things, and that's called the freezer. Right, and this one I use so that I don't get dirty whilst I'm cooking. And it looks very elegant on me. And that is called the apron, an apron. Okay, so we're done in the kitchen. No, we're not done in the kitchen. There's so many things in the kitchen. Okay, this one here in the kitchen is, forget about Santa Claus. This is where we warm up our food if it's already made. It's called a microwave. Okay, follow me. We finished in the kitchen. Let's move into the living room. Okay, first of all, very simple. We had the front door. This is just a door. Good job. If you come around here, uh, we have this, which turns on and off the light. That is called a light switch. Okay, moving on. We have this thing that I'm lying on, and I relax on, and that is called sofa. Excellent. On the sofa, I have one of these for, for putting my head on maybe, make it more comfortable. That is a cushion, a cushion. And under the sofa, or below my feet, I have this lovely, thing, which is a rug, a rug. And the rug is lying on, of course, this, which is our wooden floor. The floor, floor, floor. Okay, and here we have the table. Of course, one of these, a chair. And on our table, we have um, this. And this is for putting our, our glasses on so we don't stain the table. And that is called a coaster, a coaster. Also on the table, we have this one where we put plants or flowers, in this case we've got some lavender in it, and that is called a vase or a vase. Vase or vase, are two different pronunciations. And if you come over here, 
This is where we dry our cloves. As you can see, it's got quite an unusual name. It's a cloves horse. Cloves horse. Now I am sat on the armchair. The armchair, because it's got arms on either side. It's an armchair. And my leg is relaxing on a poof. On a poof, okay? Here next to me, I have somewhere where I can put a drink or something here. And that we usually call a coffee table. And on my coffee table, I actually have magazines. Now, right here, we have uh, this, which is a standing lamp. And the top part of the lamp here, um, which creates more of an atmosphere, I guess, that is called the lamp shade. Okay, so all together it's a lamp, but this specific part is the lamp shade. And inside the lamp shade, I don't know if you can see, Mine we have, see. okay, you can't really see because it's too bright, but inside the lamp shade, you have the light bulb, the light bulb. Behind me now, we have where we keep all of our books and some other things as well. That is called a bookshelf. On the bookshelf, we also have one of these, a candle, and one of these. So this is, of course, a picture. And the picture is surrounded by a frame, a frame, okay? The, the thing that holds the picture. Here we have a lovely plant. And of course, as well, we have a curtain or curtains behind the curtains. This, what we can see through, we can see onto the street, that is our window. And if I open the window, we have this thing that goes up and down. And that is a shutter. If you come down here, this is quite a specific piece of vocabulary. This that runs along the edge of the uh, floor, that is called a skirting board. So here, the part that is attached to the wall, okay, where we put the thing in, that is called a socket. And here I have the plug. Okay, so we have plug and socket. The plug <laughs> goes into the socket. Right, and over here we have uh, this one, which is like something that extends our input, our plug, and that is called an extension cable. And also we have this little thing for watering our, our plants. What is that called? It's called a watering can. Follow me over here and we have a plant and the plant is in A plant pot. Okay, if we come back to the door and we go to the bottom of the door, we've got this little guy and he keeps the door open. And that's called a door stopper. Behind the door, we have another chair. This chair is called an office chair. Normally a chair that you'll find in an office, an office chair. Right, let's go into the bedroom. First of all, this little guy we use for opening a door and closing a door. It's called a door handle. Follow me into the room. 
Okay, so behind the door we have this one, which we use for hanging our clothes, and that is called a clothes hanger. Right, and also behind the door we have um, a place to put clothes or other things, and this together is called a chest of drawers. A chest of drawers. Individually, they are drawers, but together it's a chest of drawers. Up I get. Here we have somewhere even bigger to keep clothes and everything like that. That is called a wardrobe. Here we have something that we can stand on if we have to reach high in the apartment. And that I call a step, simple, a step. Um, here we have this one. So this is something that you might find next to your bed. Okay, it's very convenient um, and you can put things in it as well. And that we call a bedside cabinet. Table. Or table. <laughs> <laughs> Both are correct. Bedside cabinet or bedside table. Right, so moving on to the bed. All right, so the bed is made up of a few different elements. So first of all, we have this one, which is the pillow. But the thing that we put on top of the pillow, okay, so that we can put our head on it and it's going to be cleaner, is a pillowcase. Right, we also have under the bed, the first part, the spongy part, that makes the bed comfortable. That is called the mattress. The mattress. On top of the mattress, we use this piece of material, which is called the sheet or the bed sheet, you can call it. And on top of the bed sheet, we have this lovely green one, which is the cover, the bed cover as well, you can say. Right. Over here, what's this one called? It's called a fan. And here, this beautiful plant is called a cactus. Now, opening the window, we also have this um, part where we can put our plants or we could put a light here. And this we call in English a windowsill, a windowsill. Okay. And we have down here, this helps us keep us warm in the winter. It's called a radiator. Up here, in the top of the room, we have the ceiling. Ceiling. And I forgot, because on the ceiling in the living room, we have this one which detects the smoke. This detects the smoke if there's a fire. And simply enough, that's called a smoke detector. Now we're going to go into the bathroom. Before we get to the bathroom, we have this very beautiful mirror. Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest one of all? Say hi to Ela. And here, now we're in the bathroom. Okay, this is where things get interesting. First of all, this one for drying your hair is called a hairdryer. And here we have, um, okay, so we already saw that in the kitchen, this is called the sink, but where the water goes down in the sink, what is that called? Okay, so the water goes down into the pipes, it's called a drain, a drain. Okay, above the sink, we have this one. Strangers from the outside. For uh, getting soap and that, or hand soap, I suppose. And that is called a soap dispenser. Here we have 
a bin, okay, a bathroom bin, I guess, toilet bin. Okay, so this is where we wash our clothes. This is called a washing machine. And um, when we wash our clothes, we use this one to clean our clothes. This is a liquid that is washing detergent. And to make our clothes soft, we also use this uh, substance, which is called fabric softener. Right, okay, here we have a toothbrush. And this one that we put on our toothbrush to clean our teeth is toothpaste. This is a comb for combing our hair. However, this one is not a comb, it's a hairbrush for brushing our hair. Ah, okay, this one here. Can you see this? This usually goes on the floor. Okay, and that is a shower mat, a shower mat. And behind you, we have this one, which is for washing our body in the shower. It's a shower gel. For washing our hair, we can use this one, which is, of course, shampoo. And in the shower, we have this part where the water comes out. That is called the shower head. We have, this is where we keep our dirty clothes before they get washed. That's called the laundry basket. The laundry basket. Okay, and behind me, we have this one, which you can actually put on your head. When you go in the shower, to keep your hair dry, and that's called a shower cap. Okay, and this one, um, this helps you dry after you get out of the shower, okay? You put this one on, and that's called a bath robe, okay? So you can also use it if you have a bath. We don't have a bath, so but it's still called a bath robe. Right, and we'll finish the video with the uh, most important part of the household, which is the toilet. Uh, let's break down the vocabulary for the toilet. So first of all, we have the top of the toilet and that is called the toilet lid. Okay, the lid of the toilet, the toilet lid. Okay, where we actually put our bottoms, okay, is called the toilet seat. And here, this is for flushing the toilet. And I call that the flush, okay, the toilet flush. Beside the toilet, we have this one, which is a toilet brush. And finally, what we all need in the toilet is this one, toilet paper. Okay, let's get out of the bathroom. Okay, so there we go, guys. We've seen many words in my apartment, in my flat. Hopefully you've learned some new words and revised some words that you haven't seen for a while. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.